How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This weekend was the Cover Up True Great seminar and I met some amazing artists. I mean, full of positivity, great energy. It was just, it was just such an amazing weekend. Before I show you guys the recap of this weekend, I would like to thank my fiance for encouraging me to do this event, for helping me through it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I love you. I would like to thank my family and my friends for helping me with whatever I needed. The team here at Innovative Inc., my clients for taking the time to come in and show off their tattoos. And lastly, I would like to thank Higher Level and Ambition for sponsoring this event. I really appreciate you guys. With that being said, I cannot wait for the next seminar. And uh, to everyone who emailed and wasn't able to make it or reserve your seat, it's okay, there's gonna be a next one. I don't know when though, but stay tuned. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this recap of this weekend. See, that's a good tone right there. I would say start dipping it back in your, on your white. There you go. Test it out in one little corner. Don't go crazy, but just test it out. See what you have. Here, make that piercing noticeable in the whole thing, and you're gonna get the nose back. Okay. 100%. Tattoo in an unorthodox way. Uh, so far, everything's great. That's personality, lots of interaction. What I got most out of this seminar is being comfortable with being uncomfortable and kind of adapting to everything and uh, every situation that the tattoo itself or the cover up that you're going to do. Yeah, this seminar is awesome, man. I'm, ha I'm having a good time for sure. I've taken a bunch of seminars, and this is the first and most interactive one that I've been to yet. And this is the first one where we physically tattooed that I've been to. And I like that. I like that if you're not, it's easy to think you're picking up on, he was just saying a minute ago, it seems like it was gonna be way easier. And then when we sat down to tattoo this fake skin, it's not easier. So it's cool that the person teaching you is also right in front of you. A lot of the stuff that he was talking about in terms of the like business aspect of things were like super interesting, like specifically about that. Um, but I'm still learning a lot when it comes to 
uh, like texture and building up like shapes of the form. During this uh, seminar, I'm working more on building up the textures and tones and whatnot with the opaqueers um, and filling out the area entirely. Uh, that's just been super helpful to make everything look more consistent with my work. Man, thank you guys so much for coming, man. It was, like, you guys have no idea how grateful I feel. So excited that you guys were able to learn such a technique and I hope that you guys put it to use on a daily basis. And I hope that this opens up a whole other kind of for you guys because there is a lot of bad tattoos out there <laughs> that needs to be fixed. You know what I mean? So uh, we gotta make sure that we keep practicing. You know what I mean? And thank you guys so much for coming in. You got this is your home. You got this. Took a quick bath and break. Um, I'm over here working on this cover up seminar. It's just going positive, man. Uh, how are you guys doing? You know, I brought Sean out here to come soak up some knowledge with me. This shit's positive. It's off on YouTube and this channel. You know, that's how he is in real life. You know, he's a fun person, outgoing person. You know, when we struggle a little bit, you know, he'll go and help us out. So, you know, I really, I really like that. You know, that's hopefully with this, uh, it gets to open up um, more opportunities for me. I had the opportunity to meet Kevin Ray this weekend and learn how he applies his true grace. I got to see him tattoo live, and I also had the opportunity to, to tattoo a piece of fake skin right next to him. One of the most memorable things that I remember is just how he's just not afraid to do anything. He's just, he goes into everything confident and that's the way you need to be as a artist regardless of what you're doing.